YouTube, Slim Tim, Instagram is Mr. Fired Up, bringing you another video for the greenhouse, but not the lion of the green uh, grow bed. So stay tuned for Aquaponics Piping Part 2! Fired Up Friday! Every day I'm shuffling. Alright, let's start off with the sump. First off, I changed the plan of the sump from the little 100 gallon trough, watering trough for horses, whatever you want to call it, the Rubbermaid bin. And went ahead and took my second IBC and cut it at 150 gallons. And it fits in here halfway up the grow beds. Pretty good. So that's 50 extra more gallons. So a pretty good surface area down in there too. I'm going to cover this with the wood, just like you saw on the uh, fish tank beside me at the intro. Alright, that back pipe with the tube on it is for the pump. That goes back to the fish tank. The only electricity used in this system thus far. Over here, we got grow bed number one in front of you. Or my bad, two. And grow bed one behind it and grow bed three. I'm gonna have grow bed four come in right here and grow, but, grow bed five will come in behind three. Alright from the part one video here's the gravity feed line but back there is the inlet to the fish tank. From the sun. Go underneath the grow bed one. I'm going to install a check valve somewhere back in this area. And as you can see back there, once again, the back pipe is the pump. Front pipe is the uh, bell siphon pipe. Alright, here we are in the grow bed. We got the stand pipe of one inch to a two inch bell siphon, which I got. All my holes on the bottom. I plan on uh, putting a tube coming out the top here to go down to the bottom to help with the break break of the siphon. But I'm gonna run it <clears throat> and see how it goes. See if I need that option or not. That like I said goes over the standpipe, right down to the bulkhead, and a four-inch gravel guard. Just took the chop saw and started down at the bottom and went up in a pattern of three and that'll guard any of the gravel and whatnot going into the siphon onto the fish tank alright here we are inside I got my inlet coming in right at 330 gallon line Got it coming back up at a little bit of an angle, just to, you know, securing it to make sure it don't move around too much, to a 45, and downward of 45, not a complete 45, but an angle 45, with my air tubing, the pipe, which is all one inch pipe coming from the uh, pump, for the Venturi system, I'm going to aerate the water, and turn it here in the northern hemisphere, water circulates in a clockwise position. So that's how we're going to get this to drain all the way down. Down there goes back to the grow beds. And back over here is a second cycle of the aquaponics. The first one over here was the first one through the grow beds of the plants filtering out the water. This is the secondary outlet, the overflow, constant cycles what I'm going to try to get to stay at, all the way up from the bottom down there with a cap with holes to this T, overflow. Now, like I said, as the second cycle goes through the radial filtration and down through here. 
back over the inch and a half for the water change and the grow bed feed and it'll go back to the sump which I'm sort we're sort of 90 but that's how it goes back around complete one full cycle for the night rot and the beds help with ammonia and all that good stuff so there you have it I appreciate everybody tuning in to part one leave your comments down below for the part two on how I've plumbed this up and got it going we're getting to that destination part three will be possibly include the pump and explanation of the radial filtration so stay tuned WNS like and comment and stay fired up people to that next video later